All right, this video is going to focus on the Valley as a standalone module. I've already done a video about the Valley within the Coco system. However, every module from the Coco system can be used as a standalone. So really quick, just to start off, you can fold two different waves. You can crossfade between the two different waves on the output here. Uh, a fundamental is created from whatever you're putting in one and two. So that is a dedicated fundamental output. So with this, uh, this cross fader between fundamental and fold will not affect anything there. Um, however, you can pass the fundamental unfolded waves out of the output and then cross fade that with the folded waves. The odd and even cross fader controls whether or not you are hearing the odd harmonics or the even harmonics that are created out of uh, whatever's put into one and two combined or by themselves. And then the order is the number of folds that happen within the wave. You'll notice that we have lots of cool CV inputs here. Really quick with that little arrow, what that means is there's a normalized connection when you're using it within a Coco system. However, in standalone mode, that arrow doesn't mean anything. And also the track and sync control switches don't have a function in standalone mode either. Those are just for the Coco system. So we can control this crossfader with CV. We can control this crossfader between inputs one and two with CV. We can control the odd and even crossfader with CV. And then we can control the order or number of folds with CV. So why don't we, uh, why don't we just take a listen? Cause this thing makes some pretty sweet sounds. Okay, so I've got two different sine waves tuned uh, to the same note, but in different octaves running into the one and two. Let's just take a listen to the the sine wave that's going into input one. So here we don't have any folding happening, even though we're on the fold side here. That's because the order is turned all the way down, so we haven't added any folds in. So let's do that. So some pretty nice clean wave folding. That was the odd harmonics that we heard. So let's switch that all the way over to even. And now let's take a listen to those. And now here's a blend. So right off the bat, you can tell there's going to be some pretty uh, cool results when we get some CV in here. So let's go back to the odd and now we'll go all the way over to our different uh, sine wave going in. So that one's a little higher, so let's add some folds to that. So there are the odd harmonics, now here are the even. And then a blend. So here's where it gets really fun. We'll put the crossfader for the, for the output, uh, dictating the first or second input. That will be blending them now. So let's turn all of this down. So here's a blended signal with no folding. Let's add some folds. Here are the odd harmonics for the blended. And then we'll go even. And then a mixture. And then you can crossfade, like I said, between the fundamental created out of the two uh, and the folded signal. And then there's a dedicated out for the fundamental, like I said, so that will just pass this signal without any folding happening at all. So it's a really cool way to uh, just get even more uh, sounds out of it. So let's actually take a listen. Okay, so what you hear right now is just the fundamental output, and that's coming out. Um, that's just the fundamental of the uh, of input one. So if I bring this up, you can hear one and two. So when I put this uh, sine wave LFO into the one and two crossfader, you'll start to hear that is actually the only um, CV input that's gonna change the sound of the fundamental output. 
So let's turn up the folded side now. So now I'm just running a bunch of LFOs from um, different cascades and brooks. Uh, I'm going to run one into the odd and even crossfader. Which isn't having much of, a, much of an effect because I barely got any folds going on here. So let's turn the, uh, the LFO that's going into the, the order uh, input up. Okay, and really quick, just to check this out in a little bit more of a musical context, I've got this uh, canyon doing a stepped voltage into ornament and crime to quantize it, and then that is molted into both of the one volt per octaves for the, the waves that we're folding from these two Brooks oscillators. So we're just gonna listen to the fundamental output first. And now let's bring in the, uh, the folded side with all the modulation. So yeah, that is our valley in a nutshell. Please check out our other videos on the Cascades and the Brooks used as standalone modules, the Canyon used as a standalone module, and then of course, the Coco systems, either with Canyon or Valley as the centerpiece.